hey guys welcome back to the cybers tutorial for beginners and this is a part two of the upload files so let's uh, see how we can proceed in this case right so let me move back to this uh, so what we are going to do is that in the previous tutorial i told you that we are going to use this npm module so what you need to do is that uh, in your cybers uh, project that you have created you need to install uh, by using this command so we are basically using uh, this as a dev dependency so after adding it what you need to do is that you need to just copy this uh, this name and uh, go to your cybers file in the support folder so if you have created successfully your cybers uh, tuto uh, i mean if you have watched my previous tutorial where i have told you about how to create a proper project in cybers you will have a cybers uh, folder there and in that folder uh, what you will have is that you will have a support folder it support you will have commands so what you can do is that you just need to enter this command here and click on save after that what you need to do is that uh, let's do one thing i have copied this file wpx uh, uh, wpx.png in the fixtures so we are going to use fixtures in this case so fixture are basically provides you the uh, these are the basically all kind of data files that you want to upload use it at so these are basically kind of a uh, you can say uh, uh, whatever resource folder that you have for example if you have created any kind of resource folder in the in the previous uh, any kind of it automation framework that is uh, very similar to this fixtures right so what you need to do is that you need to basically uh, let's create the new file and let's save it as uh, and i'm going to save it in the integration example folder so that it is available so let's name it upload file dot spec dot js right and i'm going to copy some code uh, right so let's uh, delete this code so this is a simple upload code right and let me do it in this way right so what you can do is that uh, this file whatever is a file here right it is already available if you can see in the code right so if it uh, let's take it as a constant file. So let this is a file path. So this is a file which is WPX uh, PNG. The cyber what Cypress will do is that it will first find this file in the fixture folder. If it is not able to find it, it's going to check for the uh, full path. Basically, uh, you can say the full absolute path. If uh, he uh, if Cypress is not able to find it, it basically throws an error, right? What you need to do is that uh, you need to visit this URL, right? The internet or the uh, uh, not uh, internet Heroku, and there's a file upload right this is this is the uh, kind of uh, url that you want to visit now right after visiting what you need to do is that you need to upload here right so what we can do and just uh, get the file up id of this one so using driver.get see uh, side.get we can use the attach file function right and you here you need to find the file path and click on enter and after that we need to basically submit it right to click on upload button it is file submit right and dot click right. so after uploading the file for example let me upload this file so this is wpx and let's upload it after you can see that it's already available this file is uploaded in the this div with uploaded files so you can write dot get and uh, here we need to mention the id with the hash dot contains right so we can check that okay it should contain wpx dot png right so let's click on save so if it is save right and uh, let's run it from here so I'm going to type npx cybers open. I will highly recommend, highly recommend you to install the cybers uh, with the minus g command so that it's available in the global one, right? So now this URL is open and we have upload files back, right? So I'm going to this one. Now it will open basically the uploading. Uh, it will basically try to run our test case. So as you can see, uh, the uploading is successful, right? so if we go here this is the file part so this is the file uh, this is the file that he has chosen if clicked on this button 
and after that it's waiting for submit submission then page load and after that is basically waiting for it all right i hope that makes sense now so this is how you can do how you can do basically the uploading file right it's very simple and uh, do let me know if you find any kind of uh, problem in this case and i'll see you in the next video bye